hello everyone welcome in my channel asp.net code today i'm going to show you the next video tutorial of blazor so in this video tutorial uh, i'm going to show you how to create a new component uh, in blazor also uh, how to create uh, the code behind file or you can say the base class in blazor uh, with the components so just create a new app uh, that is the blazor getting started and in this app inside the page pages folder uh, add a new razor components so this is the simple thing you can do uh, like razor component and the razor component name is master to start uh, capital letter that is the thing uh, again uh, I will remember you uh, the razor component must to start a capital letter with a capital letter so here we you can say uh, employee overview this is the path you can navigate or you can say the request uh, uh, parameter you can say so now add a new item that is the class and you can say the class name is the employee overview base class okay that's fine now after that must to inherit that class with the component base class and that class is existing in that of uh, uh, namespace microsoft asp net core dot components and in which you can add some properties uh, like employee a list of employees so you can say that uh, create a new component uh, also uh, with the uh, test with the mock data okay so list of employee so must to add a new model that is the employee new folder model folder also you can use uh, apis here uh, in the later video session i will uh, show you how to use api data in uh, blazor app so add a new model that is employee uh, class prop uh, id and the name filled in the employee in the later videos i will add some more properties okay that's fine now resolve that thing use easily okay now after that you can add uh, some employees in a list of employees and also uh, add a new method that is return type is a void and uh, in which you can add some employees in the employees list so employees equals to new list of employees okay so this is the mock data you can say Now just copy and the paste. Okay, that's fine. Now after that, you can uh, uh, override that own initialized method that is the protected uh, override. Must to add that method in your employee or uh, employee overview base class or you can say the component class uh, over uh, override task uh, that is own initialized async method that method uh, i will show you in uh, in details in later video sessions uh, what is that um, what is the uh, uh, work done by on initialized async methods so the first thing uh, on initialized method will call initialized employee method and your employees uh, will initialized now after that how to inject your base class uh, in your uh, razor components by using the inherits keywords so by using the page directive you can uh, show the path of the uh, uh, running application 
uh, and the inherits uh, is used to uh, add your base class so that's this is a simple simple thing and now after remove this code and add a new table and inside the table uh, you want to get all employees one by one so just use for each loop and get employees one by one so how to retrieve that employee mm, you can easily retrieve that employee because your base class inherits in your page so you can use for each loop to iterate all employees one by one so here you can use employee that is the public property in your base class okay now after that show your employees one by one so guys uh, thank you very much for watching this video and keep watching all other videos which is related to uh, blazer and uh, i will show you a better video tutorial of blazer uh, please subscribe my channel and don't forget please share this video uh, if you like this video please share it on your insta uh, in your on your twitter account on your whatsapp on your facebook accounts so i'll uh, i promise you i will provide you better video tutorial of blazer so don't forget please subscribe my channel and also press the bell icons so yeah uh, now navigate your um, razor pages easily employee overview here your employees list so thank you very much for watching this video and keep watching all the remaining videos which is related to blazer thank you very much for watching